Absolutely. A shame that you should throw off one yoke only to find another. What brings you to my study? What did you expect to find? An old man hiding from his attackers? Or a young man taking the battle to them? Weak or strong, the flesh expires. To survive, one must transcend it. And beyond the grip of a common death, for I have already embraced an uncommon one. Spells are fueled by ambient essence in the ether, a miserly trickle of energy that leaks from the wheel. Because the medium is so poor, a wizard must normally focus his efforts on the runes and incantations that channel it. But imagine what could be done with a more powerful source of essence. A Watcher's soul, for instance. The most demanding and visionary kind. The kind that wizards have argued over for centuries. Names like Cadabal the Red and Mara of the Seven Hills. Even you must know of them. The power to warp and wind time, like a skein of wool wrapped about your finger, to strangle its flow to a mere trickle, perhaps to reverse it altogether. Would you think to steal it from under my nose? As if it were so easy. A phylactery isn't some bauble I wear around my neck or hide in a chest. It's a complex layer of spellwork carved into my skull with runes and sealed with a peg of Adra. It is the reason I'm here, surviving. <laughs> In my eyes or theirs, you've surely heard of the great archmages of Aora. Nina Gauth, Minoletta, Sitzel, and Kolokoth. Archimir and Lengroth, too. <laughs> We've all shaped the study and practice of magic. Just not always to our mutual taste. One of the other archmages, no doubt. My wager's on Archimere or Lengrath, always hiding behind glamours and diversions. But it could have been any of my rivals.
Shot with the
I'd be glad to. 